Hello and welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute a day podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, recorded here in the dining room of the Bible Bistro, located in Sharonville, Ohio. Hey there, friend. Welcome back to Daily Dose Radio here in the Bible Bistro. Today we're going to look at verses 7 and 8 in Psalm 64. And that's what we do here on Daily Dose Radio is we study the Psalms verse by verse, five minutes a day, five days a week studying the Psalms verse by verse. So come on in here and sit down with me at the Bible Bistro. I'm right here at my table. And I want you to sit here with me. Open your Bible up. Let's look at Psalm 64 together today. And hey, while you're turning there in your in your scripture, let me just ask you a question and ask of a favor is that you would go to YouTube and like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. It's called the Bible Bistro. So you can find it there on YouTube. The Bible Bistro on YouTube. Subscribe to the channel. Daily Dose Radio is there. Creek Road Baptist Pulpit is there. And the Sunday Morning Podcast is there as well. So you'll find all of that right there on the Bible Bistro YouTube channel. Today we're looking at 7 and 8 in Psalm 64. So let me read those for us. But God shall shoot at them with an arrow. Suddenly shall they be wounded. So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away. We're going to start looking at this chiastic structure, the mirroring that's going on here. This is this psalm can be folded right in half. You can fold it right between verses 5 and 6 because those two verses are just like each other. They encourage that it begins, 5 begins, they encourage themselves. 6, they search out iniquities. You can fold those together right there in half right there between 5 and 6, and all these verses will look just alike, although opposite from one another. So they're mirrors, but they're opposites. So in verse 3, or let's see, let me see where I am here. Yeah, in verse in verse 4, you have something just like in verse 7, but not. So in 7, it's, but God shall shoot at them. In 4, it's, that they may shoot in secret at the perfect. In seven, but God shall shoot at them with an arrow. You see, we talked a lot about shooting there in three and four. Well, now God takes up his arrow, and he's going to shoot at them with an arrow, but it's not bitter words that he's shooting at them with. It's something else. Suddenly they shall be wounded. So they're shooting in four. Now God is shooting in seven. So you see, the judgment of God is going to match what they're doing. They are shooting at the perfect. He's going to shoot at them. So his arrow of judgment is going to wound them. They think to shoot at and to cause fear in the heart of the perfect or the righteous man. God's going to shoot at them, and he's going to wound them, and he doesn't have to hope that it's going to happen. And then verse 7 is parallel to verse 3. So shall so they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. You remember in verse 3 we had, Who wet their tongue like a sword? So the sword, their tongue, is going to fall on them. So there's going to be a judgment that God renders with an arrow, and there's going to be a judgment that God renders with their own tongue that they've wet like a sword, and they're getting it ready to strike at the righteous, but God says, nah, I think I'm going to make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away. You see, they were going to wet their sword, their tongue like a sword and bend their bows to shoot the arrows at the righteous man, that perfect man there in verse 4. But now the Lord's going to take their tongue, he's going to overthrow them with it, and the sword that they thought to use against the perfect He's going to use it against them. You see, this is a picture of how we dig a pit for someone else, and yet we fall into it ourselves, because God takes our wickedness, and he glorifies himself by it, and judges us in the process with our own wickedness. So these guys think they're going to get away with it because they announced, well, who's going to know? Who's going to see? Right? There in verse 5. But no, no, they're not going to get away with it. God sees it very well. And he does exactly what they're going to do, but he does it in righteousness. 
Well, join me again tomorrow. We're going to look at verses 9 and 10 here on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. For more fresh and delicious Bible studies, podcasts, books, and more, check out the Bible Bistro online and on YouTube. Join me again next time for Daily Dose Radio.